China has outlined plans to ensure only patriots run Hong Kong. The head of the Hong Kong and Macau Affairs Office says the city will undergo fundamental electoral reforms. Xiao Baolong insists there is no room for those who advocate Hong Kong's independence or anti-China sentiments. He says violators of the national security law will be barred from the administration. His remarks come two weeks before China's top legislature holds its annual meetings. Speculation is growing that further measures will be announced to tighten control over Hong Kong. Roland Nim joins us for more on this. Roland, how could this affect Hong Kong's local elections? Right, the message, patriots uh, ruling Hong Kong, comes from uh, China's top man in the state council who is in charge of Hong Kong and Macau affairs. So his message is not to be taken lightly. He is saying uh, that it is a precondition, patriots ruling Hong Kong, to ensure and to solve Hong Kong's deep-seated problems, and that it is a precondition uh, in terms of uh, safeguarding national sovereignty, national security, as well as national development. He then went on to say that Hong Kong's electoral system cannot just simply copy other countries, but it must reflect the situation on the ground in the city. And he went on to say that the most pressing issue now would be uh, to refine the electoral process as well as to plug legal loopholes. So electoral reforms look likely uh, in Hong Kong's shores anytime soon. We've already had political bigwigs uh, like uh, former chief executive C.Y. Leung uh, saying uh, during an interview that, for example, that the chief executive could possibly be elected uh, by local consultation instead of an election committee of 1,200, and that it wouldn't be against uh, the basic law, Hong Kong's mini constitution. Uh, DAB stalwart, uh, the DAB uh, is the biggest political party uh, in Hong Kong and pro-Beijing, Tam Yu Chong. He went on also to say that he is looking forward to electoral reforms and cited the unusual circumstances in which uh, in the 2019 district council elections, there was a landslide victory by opposition forces, which he calls highly irregular. So changes to the electoral system here in Hong Kong likely to be on the cards. And is it likely then that China will announce these new measures on Hong Kong when its parliament meets in just a few weeks' time? Well, Mr. Xia's speech at this closed webinar, a One Country, Two Systems a forum that was held today, surely reflects that uh, when China's parliament uh, convenes, they will surely be proposing, discussing and approving uh, electoral reforms to the city. At to what end these reforms will take place? Well, local media here is already speculating one of the moves that Beijing will be making is to scrap the 117 district council seats uh, that currently the opposition forces hold. Remember, uh, during uh, the 2019 elections, uh, the opposition uh, pro-democracy movement won a landslide victory in these seats. These district councils don't actually have uh, political sway within the government, but they do represent 10% of the 1,200 election committee that actually votes in the chief executive. So, uh, the Beijing government is, of course, keen to make sure that these people don't get a say when it comes to electing Hong Kong's next leader. Now, another move that the Hong Kong SAR government is already making is uh, to make it mandatory for oath-taking for these district councillors. And this could lead to mass uh, disqualification, because if you remember, most of these uh, district councillors won on the platform of are fighting for greater democracy for Hong Kong, and they are opposition activists. So it remains to be seen how this will play out uh, if uh, such electoral reforms are going to be taking place here. Um, but the chief executive, Carrie Lam, was quick to point out uh, very quickly after uh, news of Mr. Xia's uh, speech that the electoral reform uh, changes that China is proposing is not uh, due to the suppression of the opposition voices. Have a listen. It is not about sort of uh, obstructing the development of the pro-democracy party in Hong Kong. As long as whoever has that sort of political inclination is not someone who is unpatriotic. 
Roland Limbeer with that update.